there YouTube. I'm going to show you a very easy and cheap way to make your own custom cookie cutters out of materials you can find at Lowe's. Um, it's really simple. You need to find what's called hangers tape in the plumbing section. And it's basically just a metal ribbon with holes cut into it. it it's used to secure pipes and things like that by plumbers. You know, they put the pipe on and they secure it to the wall, screw it in. Um, there's two kinds. This one's copper plated hanger tape. It comes in a 10 foot roll for about 383 at Lowe's and it holds its shape a lot better. Um, this is the steel hanger tape and it's a thinner gauge, so you can get more detail out of it, but it won't hold its shape as well over you know, a long time if it's squished in a drawer, if you have your cookie cutters just lying around. Uh, but this is cheaper as it comes in a like 25 foot roll for about four bucks, if I remember correctly. Um, so this, this is really great. It has the little holes in it, and that's really good when you want a symmetrical design because you can bend it easier on the hole. So I've used um, it to make lots of different designs, school logos. I was selling cookie cutters on Etsy for a while, and people had me making all kinds of stuff. Uh, ears, <laughs> uh, Dr. Seuss, Wubsy characters, all kinds of things. So it was really fun. So you want to start out with your hanger tape ready. You want to have a design ready. And this can be your guide when you're folding the metal. This is Pikachu, very cute, fat little head and two ears, shouldn't be too hard. So I'm going to use my design and just basically follow it with the hanger tape. And I haven't cut the hanger tape yet, I do that at the end so I can get exactly the size I want out of it. Luna has joined me, she likes to see what I'm doing when I make stuff. What are some of the other designs I've made? I made a doll shape for somebody. Uh, I made, I've made numbers and letters. Uh, yeah, all kinds of fun shapes. My blog has a couple pictures of some of them. Anyways. So here's our basic Pikachu shape. And if you don't get it perfect, remember you can always bend it later, <laughs> which I definitely don't have it perfect right now. Um, you wanna have an overlap of about a half inch, so maybe the space between two holes have an overlap when you cut it. And so I'm just gonna cut it on this hole with a pair of wire cutters, as long as they're strong enough to cut through this. <laughs> Use these good old bendy as you cut method. And it's working. Oh, okay. All right. So obviously this isn't going exactly as planned. Ha, ah. aha, all right. So Pikachu's cut out. Uh, now you want to straighten out that overlap and, I mean, the easiest way you do this is you could tape it shut with some really strong, maybe electrical tape or something. Um, but if you want a more permanent method, you use a little bit of fire. So uh, if you have some propane, a propane tank with a nozzle, a lighter, and some solder. This is lead-free rosin core solder by Lennox. Uh, the gauge is 0 0.062 or 1.5 millimeters. So you just take a little bit of solder about the width of the hanger tape. Let's see. Cut that off. Put the solder in between the overhang. And so it's just sandwiched in between right on the metal there. And then you want to have some heat resistant, a heat resistant clamp, or uh, I use these pliers. I hold it in one hand 
No, wait. Okay. I use these pliers to hold the solder in place as I fire it so that it melts and seals shut. And you hold it until the solder is solidi solidified, and voila, you have a cookie cutter that's every bit as good as the ones at the store. I would make sure to wash it off if I were you, because this stuff just, you know, kind of sits around in the warehouse at Lowe's, so I don't know how clean it is, but um, it looks good because it's the copper plated, and that's how you make a cookie cutter. Thanks for watching!